guys, just just start off by doing some some just light kicks this way. Just let your hands hang down. Keep your shoulders loose. Nice and easy. Make sure your knees, you know, your knees come up each time you kick. I'm gonna try one more time. Okay, now try going to the corners like this. This way. Still a front kick but to the corners. Keep your chest straight. Okay, now try a side kick. Just nice and easy, it doesn't have to be too perfect. Just work in the muscles. Okay, and then try back kick. Keep your keep your chest forward. Head, head up, kicking back. All right, good. Check them out a bit. Okay, so you're gonna just do like a lunge, but you may as well add a punch to it while you're doing it. So just do punch, but put a little extra weight on the front leg each time, this way. You're just kind of getting your, your legs warmed up here. Nice and deep. Try to go longer as you warm up. Go longer, a little deeper. Good. Good. All right, does everybody get into Shibagachi? Keep the knees bent. Hand up and punch. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, two punches. Hey, 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 stay low. Hey, hey, three punches. Hey, 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 hey. All right, good. Shake the legs out a little. Okay, just think like you're going to do a hook. So the hands is gonna come this way, right? Don't go like this. Make sure you fight back at the end, the opposite comes forward. One, two, one, two. Just loosen up the arms. Okay, think of an uppercut now, same thing. up and down this way, forward and back, circles, the way, okay, so take your, your hand and stretch the shoulder a little, deep breath and hold it, breathe out, other side, deep breath, and breathe out. Behind your head, same thing, deep breath, and breathe out. Just lean a little bit, and the other way, deep breath, and breathe out. Okay, good. So just, just twist. Imagine you're doing a block each time this way. All right, down into Shikodachi and stretch. Other way, take a deep breath and breathe out. Okay, and just lifting up your toes so you're on the heel. Stretch the hamstrings just a little. Again, deep breath. Hold it. See your frozen on my screen. Yeah, see it's frozen. The other side, deep breath. And up. So what happens when you don't stretch? Yeah. <laughs> freeze up. You freeze up, right? Yeah. 
Okay, he's gone. Maybe so I have to sign back in again. Okay, right, good. So, just very light uh, gyakuzuki. So, remember the setting of the hip, hips and the hands. One, two, right? One, two each time. So go ahead and just just keep going. Block. Imagine you're blocking with the left hand. Block and punch. Keep going. Block and punch. That's it. Good. Oh, there he is. Hey, Secret, you're back. You can unmute yourself, Secret. It's the wireless. It's a bit unstable. Yeah, it happened to me before with my kids class. I just lost everything. It happens, yeah. All right, now try my hand. So you're gonna go this way now. So, so watch, I'm gonna go on, my, on my, my back leg. My hand's gonna go opposite direction to my head. Go this way. See? One, two. One, two. So now each time you come back, come back up to that hip. One, two. One, two. Imagine you're blocking this time. Blocking. Blocking this way. Okay, I'll try a Wizuki. So, so I'm here, same thing. Think of blocking. You're blocking as you bring the side forward, right? So think block, punch. Rock, but it's just nice and easy. It doesn't have to be too perfect. Just kind of like give yourself some freedom. That's it. Now, as you move, try to get your stomach to move ahead. See? So when I do the oizuki, I'm going to get my stomach to move in. I'm going to rotate this in. Here we go. Stomach. You can do two nice ones, or maybe a three or three in a row. Like in Pinan Shoran, you do the three oizukis. I always hated that because I could never get it to flow nicely. I, I always felt too stiff. But if you, if you get stomach first, one, stomach, two, three, it flows nicely. So lead with this part. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, good, so let's try one leg punch. We're just starting from fighting stance, going onto the one leg, just let the back foot drag, and then step, right? So from here, one, two. Bend your on time, it's too few. That's it. Good. Make sure the other hand's working, right? Pull it back, push it forward. Try it. Try it now. Four, four B. One, two, and the kick first, right? So it's a kick, punch, and step. Yeah. Good. Nice. And once in a while, you can do a sweep and a punch. It's the same thing, right? If I do a kick and a punch, it's the same as a sweep. And a punch. Right? Same thing. Yeah. So don't let the hands go back and forth when you sweep. Keep the hand where it is. Turn into your hand. You turn into the hand here. Yeah. 
one, and then the punch comes. That could be a roundhouse kick now, like a three-quarter roundhouse, right? Could be three-quarter roundhouse kick punch. Same thing. Good. Good. All right, looking nice. Okay, so now from Kamai, what you do is you're going to step over, kick, and a punch. All right? So it becomes a skip in. One, two. Okay, good. Next one, fighting stance. Okay, so now you're gonna do Gyakuzuki and a Gyakuzuki, right? So you're gonna do like one, two, two, or two Gyakuzukis. You're stepping with the opposite foot, right? That's it. Good. Try three. One, two, three. Okay, next one, Gyakuzuki and a skipping around Husky. Okay, so you gotta think of you slide in one and two. Okay. Kick with the front foot, McKenna. Guys, front foot kick. That's it's a skipping kick, right? There you go. All right. All right, good, good. So, should be nice and warm now. Okay, Sanchin, we're gonna do a few minutes of this. So, remember, don't let the side move. You can't let it wobble around. When I pull back, nothing happens. I'm here, I pull back, this stays where it is. So this is tight, this is stretched, this is tight. What's that? All right, punch. When I step the next one, this one doesn't move. Punch each time, go ahead. The elbows in, don't let that wobble. More like this, guys. Try to try to get this, this angle here. So, like you're trying to hold something with your elbows. Yeah, that's the Lucy like that, yeah. Good. Don't let it don't let it move. See, this might be stiff and nice and strong, but if I go like this, it's not moving by itself, but it's, my, that's not good either. I need to keep stretching this part. So this part has to push backwards as I pull back, right? So everything freezes, nothing moves. Good. So looking for that stretch. Stretch here, here. Oh, each time, right? Good. Good. Remember how we step? The circle, each time there's a circle going on.
Good. Okay. So, you know, I want to do a little bit of that every time because the more you do it, the more it's just going to start to take hold. You won't even realize you're, 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 that you've got it. So exactly. now I want you to think of this. So if I'm getting into fighting stance here, I want to think of like I'm lifting up, like, like in, uh, in gin when you do this move, this one comes up. So imagine I'm going to, I'm going to use my hips to lift. Okay. At the same time, I'm going to push down. So like this. And I'm actually increasing the third leg, right? So I'm going down and up here. Get that feeling. So this is like very, very compressed now. So it's making me keep my shoulders down. You feel like these muscles here want to tighten up. What's that? From here, then you can step over if you want. And again, you get the same feeling. This is coming up. Like you're lifting a heavy weight here and pushing somebody down. Get that feeling here. So you should feel like you, you, your abs are tightening and your glutes are tightening. So I'm yeah. doing this. See, this is tilting this way, right? Like that. So imagine that you want your key to open. Watch right here. See how this is nice and closed? So watch that. See how it opens up? That's the feeling. It bunches up here. Yeah. Right? So, so we don't want to think too much about dropping mid in the knees. It's more like I'm just doing this. I'm doing this feeling. Tilting the pelvis, right? So, like if this was here, I don't want it to point down, I want it to point forward. I want it to, instead of pointing down, I want it to point forward. So this part of my, my butt wants to point forward. It's a tight yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, so try the other way. So take your stance, fighting stance, now instead of lifting, you're going to push down. Instead of pushing down, you're going to lift. Same thing here. This way. See how this all gets ready? And from here, I can punch. I can punch. That's it. Jake, try not to, I don't know if it's the camera angle, but try not to make sure you don't step too wide. You know? Could be the angle of the camera, I'm not sure. Let me slide in. Go down, that's it, go down, yeah. So, like I'm picking up a bucket of water and I'm gonna throw it at you. What's that? Heavy weight in this hand and boom. Yeah. Let's see uh, in gin. So in gin, you, you've just done, say, here, and you go down. Now you're going to step over and do this move here. I want you to think of the same thing. The compress and lift each time. Get that feeling now. You're not going to be doing it as much because you're sideways, but it's the same feeling. Yeah, keep going. All right. You can also do it in cat stance. Some cutters have this in cast dance. 
some have it in Zenku Sadashi. So you can do it all different ways. Yeah. All right. But more advanced people, I don't know if you can see, what's my hip? I don't want to just step in and go with my arms. This hip leads. I push this one first. One, two. What's that? So I'm here. Now this one snaps. I get a nice. Yeah, looks good. Yeah. Nice. Good. That's a Lucy, yeah. Uh -huh. Can you try not to make your arm too see how long my arm is? Bring it in like this and go like it's like it's gonna hit up. So keep it bent. Try not to have it too straight. Straight makes it awkward. Keep it bent. So it's like it's gonna do this. Yeah, they'll be strong too. That looks good. Nice, Lucy. That was good. That's a McKenna. Good. Yep. <clears throat> cool. Okay, now put that into an oizuki. So as you come in, let's feel it. Could be the other way. Whichever way you want to do it. But as you get in, so watch. If, if I exaggerate it and I do it a little slowly, um, it's like this is kind of stretched and watch. What's that? I sink into this. It's a nice heaviness to it. Yeah. But feel heavy at the end. You know, like if you're standing on a bathroom scale and you bounce on it, I know the new ones are digital, I don't say do it, but the old ones, it would go all the way up to like 250 pounds. Okay? Just by bouncing on it, it makes the momentum, makes the scale go around, right? It probably does it on a digital one too. You go like this and the numbers probably go up. Well, that's like a false weight. So that's what you're doing when you punch. It's like, you might only weigh 150 pounds, but when you hit the ground, you need to be 300 pounds. You want to come in, that sudden drop puts weight into my punch. Okay. So it's the same with this. I want to take the guy's arm. I don't want to go and use my arms. I want to use my whole body and dropping. It makes everything heavier. Stronger and heavier, right? So keep the arms loose until the end. And at the end they get they get uh, tight, right? Yeah. Yeah, same feeling, right? Guys, there's only one technique. We do it for kicking, we do it for punching, we do it for blocking. It's all only one technique. Everything is the same. Yeah. Good. Okay. So let's talk about the Sto block. Right? So remember this way, hand's going to come this way and walk each time, right? Come elbow to elbow and in. Yeah. So anybody who is going to be doing a black belt soon, we don't know what it's going to be. <laughs> it might be in five years when we get out of the lockdown. Let's get ready for it, right? So let's work on, on these blocks. You're going to need to get a nice sharp one. Let's work. Yeah. 
looks nice, Lucy. Yeah, that's a McKenna. So McKenna, remember, try to get a little bit more up and down, not too much sideways. More. Yeah. If you go up and down, it goes sideways. You, know? you don't have to think sideways, just think up and down. One, two, one, two. I just go up and rotate my hand on the way down. It goes to the right place. Yeah. That was better, yeah. Yeah, we don't want to turn too early. Some people turn too early. They go, we don't want to turn. We want to turn on the way down. I finish turning at the end of the block. Okay, try this now. Imagine you're doing a regular chew down block, this block here. So do it with an open hand. And now my elbow stays there, now watch what happens. I go up, but then I turn on the end and down. So I go one, two. So screwy, okay. Just like one and two. Screwy sounds like screwy. It's very screwy. Screwy, okay. So one, two. One, two. It's a wrist spring, see? Um, imagine somebody has you here and somebody grabs your wrist. So you, you're, you're actually just, that's a break. You're breaking the grip. One, two. You see that in some cutters too. You'll, you see it'll come in like, like one, two. One, two. Like in the ten sheet, huh? Does that, yeah. 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 Make sure your hand is not too much this way. We don't want the hand to go this way, it needs to turn. So the, the edge of the hand, it's called a knife hand block, right? So this this is like a knife, like I'm chopping it this way. Yeah. What's that? That's a one and then two. Yep, good. Mm -hmm. So think of it as a block first, just a block and then don't do that. One and two. Can I use your hand in the distance? Just go across. Okay. So watch. Uh, let, grab my wrist. So see how Linda has my my wrist, right? Now watch. I'm just gonna go like this. I break. See from here? I break the grip. So I block. She grabs it. So no grips are tight. Just go. So watch. When I do this. It works against the thumb. What's that? All right. So there, like that. And that allows me to break it. So this it could be the same for somebody grabs me here. I'm going to do the block. The stove block could be a hand break, could be a break, a wrist break. Right? Hmm. All right. How about this one? This kind of thing, right? So. We see that in Sanchin, we see it in Super Empe, we see it in a lot of different countries. I moved there. So basically, you're doing one and two. Just think one, two. But as you start to get uh, the mechanics working better, it becomes more of a circular motion rather than just a one, two. It becomes like a one. And see, see how my hands go this way? Exactly. Right, this way. But you, to, to learn it, I teach this way, one and two. And then they can start to make it bigger, bigger. Yeah. Why she okay? Some of the old Okinawan ways, I, I, I first learned Sanchin. And when we did this one, it was actually this way. It was around the head. It was like the, the guy would grab your wrist and you take it around your head and break it. That's a very old way of doing it. This way. So in some cutters, you'll see this motion left over from those parts. Some people had hair. Yeah. Yeah. All right, 
So what I've been working on in the kids' class is different ways of elbow striking, empty, empty uchi, right? Different strikes. And I made up a little kata, and all of a sudden, when they started doing the pinons where you have the elbow strikes, they started looking a lot better because they had a little bit more idea on what they're doing. So just, just do it with me. I mean, a lot of you guys have done this already, but it's good, it's good practice, and it's a good way, like if you ever have to teach somebody, it's a good way to teach it. Just put your hand out and just bring your elbow this way. So you, you, your hands can be very close to your chest. Don't have it like... Don't have it like this. See this gap here? Bring it in tight and stretch your shoulder forward. So you're getting that stretch that we talk about when we do sanchi. Same stretch here, right? Same stretch as when we punch. Okay, so go forward and stretch. Stretch. Okay. Good. And I'll try the other one this way. Okay. So that would be Pinan Yon then, right? Okay. So what about... Uh, Someone's behind you, and you're going to hit them in the belly. That's it. So you go so pull forward first. Don't just go from here. Go forward. See? Forward and back. Forward and back. And watch my body motion. See? This kind of motion. I get a little extra body mechanics. Up here, okay? Try the other one. This way. So what pinon is that in? You know, thunder, right? That's why a lot of people forget they do this. They forget about this one. <laughs> elbow. Elbow. This way. Yeah. Good self-defense. Somebody gets you come from behind and they hit you. Bang. You hit them this way in the soft plexus or in the stomach. It's going to hurt. You can break ribs with this. All right, good. What about somebody next to you? You can go this way. You can drop into a shikodachi and see the hand. Like, I'm, like I've got a big wheel. I'm turning a wheel. Oh, turn the wheel. Let's get it. And pull, pull from this spot. And pull from here. Yeah. Other side. Pull. 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 Yeah, that's it. Yeah, good. And then there's one where you come down this way. So, so use your, your body weight. So legs are involved. Reach up and drop. Bang. And drop. And drop. 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 That's it, yeah. Uh-huh. Good. And one more, that if a guy's coming behind you, wants to grab you, you can go and hit him in the face. So make sure you look, too. Don't go like this, because, you know, the stretch in your neck is not, it's not good for your neck. But also, you can't get a full shot if you're holding back. You need to let everything go. So look. Plus, you don't want to knock the guy out. He's coming to help you as your friend, and you, you knock him out, right? So you got to see who you're hitting. One, two, hit So a lot of self-defense when you just see that motion. Right. So you're doing Pinan go down and uh, one, two, you step in this way. You're hitting hitting it with that, right? Just like in Pinan Pinan Yang, you're hitting. Um, this is Sandan. Um, there are ones where you, you're hitting this way, under the chin. You're coming up like this, right? So it could be under the chin. It could be into the chest. If you're close enough, into the chest. Break the sternum. So there's a kata that we do this in, uh, empty kata. <laughs> not, not this empty kata, it's a different one. What happens is you, come, you, you go with a kick and elbow strike and a punch. Now it's a good, it's a good drill. I think we did this uh, not that long ago. So imagine this now, like the guy's too close to you. Right? If the guy wanted to grab you in a bear hug from the front, if you get your hands up, all you gotta do is just push this short, push this elbow and your, and your back away from each other. That creates space right there. That's gonna hurt him. You know, have a lot of muscles working on getting that elbow out. So that's the same as what we did here, see? Same thing. Right? So imagine now you from here just think kick, elbow strike. Now you keep that there. It's not up here. It's there into the solar plexus or, or into the uh the sternum. Now don't move this punch with the other hand. Okay. So that's looking for the stretch. One, two. I'm stretching this part. I'm not doing this. One, two, I'm not doing that. See? This has to stay forward. I'm hitting him with this and this. They're both hitting. Kick, 
one, two. That's it, yeah. That's a good drill to practice. It'll help you with the form. You can start to see how everything we do is related to everything else we do. Yeah. Just make sure you don't go. And we don't want this rotation. It's forward. I'm stretching my back. Now I'm going to stretch my back on the other side too. So it's the same actually as this. Yeah. Right? It's the same position. The extremities can always be in different positions, but the body is always going to be the same. Yeah. Good. Okay. So remember we worked on, uh, let's just see. One goes up, one goes down. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now if I step back, That's my kata. All right. So let's do it in a reverse stance. So Dan, you don't have to change, but everybody else <laughs> into reverse kamai. So you have opposite kamai, right side forward. So everybody get right side kamai there. So McKenna and Jake change your feet. Right. Okay. So what you're gonna do now is think of lifting and pushing down. Right. That's the feeling there. So you feel everything get compacted. Okay. Now, don't change anything, just step back. Don't change anything. Now, don't change anything at all from, from here back. Nothing changes. Just bring your hand up to here. That's the position you want to be in. Now, if I kick, I'm, I'm in that position there. That's how I want to be, right? It's all the same thing happening here. So I have this. I step back. The hand is there, and I'm ready for this one. That's your kata. So imagine that you're lifting. So if I come, if I was there in, in your house with you, and you did this, and it, should, it, should be, it should be strong when I push down. It should go the whole thing. When I step back, I shouldn't lose it. So you see, I can't be like this. This hip cannot be forward when I do this. The hip has to be back. See, from here, push my hip, my elbow. That's left here. Okay? And when I'm in this position, it's the same thing. This hip wants to go back. So nothing changes, right? Just now that the leg is behind me, I can go back more. So that's the position I'm in here, right? And then I can kick. Yeah. So that stretch is there. So do that again. So you're here with your right leg in front. Stretch your back. Push this forward. Now keep going. Now pull your right hip back, but keep your short. Keep stretching your back here. Keep your elbow, the right elbow forward. Yeah, you feel that? That's the connection. There. Then, yeah. All right. So I'm just trying to tie everything together. You, you can see how once you get the technique, you can apply it to everything. Nothing changes. Yeah, it gets confusing because, okay, we switch feet, we switch hands, but really the principle is still the same. Nothing changes. There's a left version and a right version. And each one is a mirror image of the other. Huh? Yeah. Good. All right, so everybody practicing the katas, I hope? Yes, sir. Um, maybe, maybe not. Make sure you keep working on all of those katas, right? Um, when we do uh, say ancient, imagine I'm here and I'm doing jin. Okay? So I've got that feeling of lifting and pushing down. Okay? Then what do I do? I just turn my hand, I turn my hand. So I'm here, turn this one over. That's my say engine. One, two, that's say engine, right? Don't change it. Yeah. So if you can do gin, you can do say engine. Or the other way around. Yeah. Yeah, so. Make sure, Ravi McKenna, make sure you're working on Joan. Um, say Enchin, um, Ananko, Basaidai, those are ones definitely going to be needed. If we can get you ready in time. I always want to throw that disclaimer in. Because it's up to you guys. 
All right, good. So I'll just finish up here. I think uh, a lot of information there. So all the, 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 we only worked on a few things, and they all relate to each other. So try to uh, work on them by yourself, even if it's just two minutes here, you know, five minutes there, ten minutes over there uh, as the day as the day goes on. Just do a little bit of the time. First, all, right. cool. yes. all right, guys. Thanks. So we'll see you Saturday. Okay. All right. so, get together. See you. Thank you guys. All right, have a good night. Thank nice you. to see everyone. See Thursday. That's right, Thursday, not Saturday. Thank Glad you. I got volume. Yeah, good. Me too. <laughs> All right, take care. Bye. Good seeing you, Sigurd. Yes. Yes. Yes.